Hi, it's here with um, Anne Walsh from the ExcelExpert.com website and today I'm going to talk about um, creating what's called a pivot table in Excel. Now, the main reason people use pivot tables is that they often have big long lists of data like the one you see before you and they need to be able to see, for example, how can I spot trends? Um, is there a particular area that's doing well? Is there a particular area that's not doing so well? Um, you know, can I see from month to month what's happening? And one of the most powerful features you have in Excel is a pivot table. Now, before we begin, and this is something I'm, I'm probably going to harp on in nearly every recording I do about um, anything to do with lists or sorting or filtering, is make sure your list is set up this way. All right. Um, make sure the list is set up with kind of like the headings formatted differently or and that there's no gaps in it at all. And another very simple, obvious thing is just having like with like. OK, so let me scroll down here and then I want to come up again. And just a gentle reminder, control and home. And if you find that shortcut useful, um, you can download a free 25 Excel shortcuts piece from the website if you haven't done so already. All right. So I have my list here. And what I want to do essentially is create a pivot table out of it. Okay. So once the list is prepared, the easiest thing is I simply click on the list. I go up to my insert tab, which is over here. And on the extreme left, I have a thing called a pivot table. Now, I can also do a pivot chart, but I'm not going to touch on that in this particular um, tutorial. Right. Now, then this dialog box comes up. Now, Excel is smart enough to recognize you know that because I have a list already set up it already recognizes that this is the range of it so I generally choose here select the table of range and select it for me and I'm going to put it into a new worksheet now you can also put it into an existing worksheet which is here but I just generally prefer to put it into a new worksheet but feel free to experiment with it and click OK okay now when I actually go into this and um, I now get a screen that looks something like the following in front of me now the main thing we want to look at is over here on the right hand side. Okay, so over here these are a list of our headings and what we're going to do is we're going to drag them down to this piece here to actually create them. Now what I want to do is if you notice here we have a report filter which is kind of another way to filter things. The column labels, just have a look at that, row labels and values. Now what I'm going to do first is values generally is numerical, not always but generally numerical. And just in terms of what works best for pivot tables, just there's an element of, you know, messing around and kind of moving them around to get what you want. So I'm going to click on value and I'm just going to drag it down to my values tab here. Right. And if you notice here, my pivot table has changed already. Okay. Now let's say I'm going to drag down my product to row labels. And again, watch what happens to my pivot table. Let's say I drag down my classification down here. All right. So gives that to me already and let's say then what I want to do is I also want to kind of reply a report filter so I click here now when I look here here's my numbers and the main things I just want to show you in this one are two things how can we change the formatting of this so it's, it shows as euros and secondly um, it's at the moment it's saying sum of value but for example if I want to change that to max or min how would I do that so the place to do that is going to be in this particular location. I click over here to sum a value. And at the very end of this option here, there's an option that says value field settings. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I just want to change this currency. So down here in the bottom left, I click on number format. And I choose currency. And I'm going to leave it at euro and just leave it at zero decimal places. And then I click OK. That's the first bit done. So I click OK. I see that it's just changed it all to euro. Don't use the, the home and the formatting, otherwise you're going to drive yourself mad. Doing it this way means that no matter what the size of your pivot table, it would do all of it in one go. The second piece then is, let's say I have here at the moment it's saying sum, but let's say I want to get the average. I click on value field settings, and up here it says summarize values by, and all I have to do is if I click on average here, OK, it automatically gets the average for me. And um, the other thing then is that if I click up here beside county, all right, you see there I have a whole list of my counties. And if I just want to see the output for a number of counties, clear select all. And let's just say I want to see Cork, Dublin and Galway. 
and I click OK, and there it is. Just gives me that one. And if I click up here beside this one, on little multiple items, it tells me there's a filter on it. Now, just one small thing about pivot tables is that if you make any changes to the underlying data in here, all right, so for example, if I, let's say, change classification to you know, IT support, all right, and I come back here to my pivot table, right, you see there, it's not reflected automatically in my pivot table. So what I need to do is go back up here. Now, because I've clicked on the pivot table, I have these two new extra ribbons up here, oh, just up on the top right-hand side. I click on Options, and I click on Refresh in the middle. Now, you can also do that by just pressing F5 on the keyboard. So I just go to Refresh. You see, I now have my IT support is in there. Right. Um, I hope you have found this useful. And again, there is a file down the bottom if you want to practice. Um, feel free to move this around as much as you want to. Um, I will be following up with further videos on pivot tables because it's a particularly useful design feature or analysis feature in Excel. And I hope you enjoy that. Take care. Slán.